Hello all my inspirations and welcome to Inspirational by Marie. Thank you for joining me today. Any person that is on my platform for the first time, I welcome you with love. We're all a family here, so get involved. Today we've got an interesting topic I'm going to be speaking on. Five tips to do with... I, I always do that. It's not ten... T five tips to do with self-love, okay? So five, not ten, but five. All right? But before we get into that... Do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell, comment, like, all that good stuff. Share the video, okay? So, right, like I said, we're going to be discussing self-love. So, what does it mean to have self-love, okay? Self-love means that you accept yourself fully, treat yourself with kindness, respect, being able to nurture your growth and well-being. Self-love encompasses not only how you treat yourself, but also your thoughts about yourself and feelings about yourself. So it's about your thoughts and your feelings about yourself, okay? So being able to accept yourself fully. Why is it so important to love yourself? Okay, when you love who you are, you accept who you are. I repeat that. So when you love who you are, you accept who you are. It gives you confidence and approval. And that's very important because when you think about approval or, and even confidence, but definitely approval is not necessarily us looking for, for approval from other people, but yet we have given ourselves that approval. And it helps us in a lot of things, I believe, because that way you're not jumping from pillar to post, waiting for someone to kind of commend you or tell you what's they think is good about you. But if it starts from yourself, it's a good place in your life for for self-love and for development just in general, okay? So, step or tip number one, okay? Remind yourself that you don't have to be perfect, okay? So, remind yourself that you don't have to be perfect. For example, having a perfect body, life, job, a family, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually, what does it even mean for us to have or to, for us to be perfect, or to have a perfect situation, because, you know, like, you can imagine, you, a lot of things in your life are going well, but there's probably one area of your life, or in your character, or something about yourself, or whatever it is that you're going through right now, that you wish, or you want to improve, everybody has it, because it's more like self-development, you know, I have it, and like, something that could be perfect for somebody else may not actually be for another person so you might have a, a, a big family and you know you have kids and everything like that and it's all going well and you're married but maybe let's say for example you don't have a job you know but let's say for example you have the best job in the world you know you're working you're doing all these things but you don't have a child and that's what you want do you understand what I'm saying so you, you know perfect to somebody could look like a one situation and perfect to another person perfect situation to another person could look like something completely different okay so being perfect you know it's not really i don't think it's actually there's actually there's no threshold to it we're all on a development journey we're all trying to develop ourselves in different ways but remember it all starts with self-love anyway so accept yourself how you are especially for example you've got people um, looking on social media thinking that you know they want to have a perfect body or they're looking at a certain you know lady or guy and they're like oh, I want to get to that and I want to achieve that but actually in reality when you look on social media sometimes these things can actually lead to mental health issues honestly like you could be depressed thinking you're not good enough um nobody's ever going to be perfect all those celebrities all of those um insta models insta babe insta guys insta bros you know whoever they are they have insecurities about themselves and a lot of time these pictures may be photoshopped do you understand i remember i was watching a um documentary and there is a certain celebrity and she was just talking about that you know she always posts because that's her, that's her job that's how they make their money but she said that she's going through so many things that like what she portrays and puts out there is not not actually the reality so when we look on social media and we're thinking oh yeah we want to be like this person we want to be like that person no because we don't actually know what's going on inside remember it's not always about your outside appearance but it starts from inside and after something has gone on inside it reflects on the outside that's really how it should be, you know, not really the opposite way around. So let's be wary about looking on social media and comparing ourselves to what we think is a perfect life or perfect being. Remember, 
nobody and nothing is going to ever be perfect on this earth anyway all right so tip number two embrace and love the things that make you different this is what makes you special okay so this is really important because have you ever said to yourself like for example i've heard people say oh my nose is too big or for example um i don't like my complexion i'm too dark or i'm too light i'm too fair or i don't have you understand all those things right but let's embrace the things that make us different and that's everything to be honest <laughs> like but whatever it is that you don't like about yourself embrace it do you understand embrace that thing do you understand begin to love that thing and work with it like i my hair like not this hair <laughs> but my hair i'm thinking why is my hair so thin like i don't know if it's over the years my hair's become i don't i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know but for some reason i'm just not really happy and satisfied with my hair my hair's always been very fine and and just like really like you know not thick and and i see a lot of people with that is beautiful hair but honestly i have to actually embrace what i have and there's some people that like i said remember what perfect look there's some people that have alopecia okay and they go outside and they rock it and i you know understand what i'm saying and they look beautiful in that so you know like i'm saying you have to really embrace what you have and start to love it because at the end of the day somebody else will love it as well when people say colorism we're talking about oh people think they're too dark they think they're too light all of these things like we have to embrace what we have it's not even about pride you know but it's just about accepting it because that's what makes us different that's what makes us unique and walking in that truth gracefully you know walking in it gracefully knowing that this is what you've been given from god that you're wonderfully and you're fearfully made all right so step number three okay stop finding happiness in a particular body type because this is something that i think kind of relates to the whole social media thing as well but re realize that beauty cannot be defined beauty cannot be defined okay you know at the end of the day that things go in style and out of style do you understand what i'm saying so it's like let's say maybe i don't know in a different century it was it was in style to be thin remember that there was a particular time where they were talking about um size zero and things of that nature and i think everybody kind of wanted to slim down and have that model type physique and whatever but like now a lot of people are doing like surgical procedures to enhance you know their lower um body area and you know a lot of fullness and in different cultures people like their you know partners to be fuller or rounder you know so honestly you can't define beauty you can't define a, a body shape okay so this is something that we also need to do because it starts from within remember just accept how everyone's got different body type different um you know different physiques and all of those things you know and a lot of times like i'm saying like i said before they do a lot of photoshops um photoshop to pictures to make it look like a certain way so what can you really you know you just have to take yourself as it is and 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 be happy about it if you want to lose weight lose weight that's fine if you want to put on weight put on weight that's fine too do you understand but just just don't find happiness in a particular body type okay right tip number four distance yourself from all unhealthy relationships um so this is really important as well. People who make you feel anything less, okay, than good about yourself. Because remember, it's all to do with you. So if you are trying to be on a self-love journey and the people that are around you are feeding you with negativity, it's not, it's like you're, there's a there's a war going on. You want to feel yourself with positivity. We're on a self-love journey. We're doing this, you know, accepting ourselves, but yet you're around people that are making you feel opposite to what you're trying to actually embark on you know we've got to get rid of that honestly and there's ways to do it but i'm probably gonna speak about i'm probably gonna do another video something about um distancing yourself on um for from unhealthy relationships i'll probably do a topic on that because it actually sounds like a good topic all right so don't justify it don't justify their actions if they're bringing negativity in your life in your situation um speaking about don't justify it don't say that oh but because they helped me three years ago no 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 remember life is about growing life is about leveling up life is about stepping up and life is actually about loving yourself ultimately you can't give what you don't have so if you don't love yourself it's going to be difficult for you to actually love another person 
okay genuinely all right so tip number five um find something to be grateful for every day all right so it's inevitable that we will have different days maybe ups and downs things that you know how life is sometimes it's just not today's not your day basically and you feel some type of way but still find something to be grateful in that day you know find something to be grateful in that day it helps okay you know we're human beings at the end of the day but it's still important that we find things that actually um we can identify in the day that we are grateful for okay because this helps right when you treat others how you want to be treated also when you're loving people how you want to be loved it makes you feel better also when you respect people and you come to them with a, from a place of love and they reciprocate it at the end of the day even if they don't reciprocate it that's really none of our business but remember it's all to do with what's inside of us is what we're going to pour out you know what's inside of us is what we're going to pour out also so in terms of being grateful um, for what we find a day you can either write this down in your journal um you know you can you can even sp affirmations you can speak over yourself and say positive things about yourself and this will help because it will shift your mind from whatever may be going on at that particular time all right so that is my five tips to self-love or about self-love i hope you enjoyed it i really did enjoy sharing these tips it's really good and it's really important that we kind of relate to each other on a level but we have to work on ourselves first you know and i believe that when love is around and in the atmosphere a lot of things flow freely they flow a lot more freely so until next time, be inspired, be encouraged, be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I love you all. And I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.